What's up everybody? Okay, so today we're back with another video and this is my weekend vlog. So I just got off work. This It's Friday about 4 p.m. and I'm heading back home. I'm gonna wash the Mustang. I'm gonna wash the SRT and I've got to put the Mustang inside of my new garage, the little portable one that I built. And then, uh, well, uh, besides that, let me talk about it. So I just got my transmission, just got done getting built and they ship today so it should be here by next Friday and I don't know if I'll start building the car next weekend or the weekend after that kind of depends on when the transmission actually gets here and how good I feel so it, give or take but so I'm super pumped about that or it's so close so close but um uh, yeah that's super cool super happy about that and must say I'm gonna get built real soon. So um, right now I'm just thinking about whether or not I need um, a, a distributor or not. I know I should probably get like an MSD or the forged one, I forgot what it's called. Um, the other one that's good. And I'm just like bouncing around in my head right now whether I should buy it or not. I know I, I probably should because the old TFI module probably is old and worn out and I need a new one. And I hope the video isn't too shaky. I probably will just finish this when I get home. All right, so we're back and I'm gonna get these cars washed and since you've seen me do this about a thousand times I'm gonna bleep it out but um, then we're gonna try to start the Mustang and see if it'll cold start by itself after I mess with Tuner Studio and if it doesn't tomorrow I will be back and try to figure it out and mess with Tuner Studio till I do figure it out which isn't the funnest thing in the world but it's kind of I gotta learn I just gotta do it so okay um, I'm about to bleep this out cuz these are super dirty. Here, check, check it out. It's horrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm ashamed to own cars this dirty. So, we're gonna clean these things and then start the Mustang, see what happens, and go from there. So I wasn't able to film getting the cars all the way clean because I ran out of time and I have to be at my friend's house to, um, my one friend is down from Seattle right now and I gotta go say hi, otherwise he'll be very upset with me. <laughs> So, um, I'll film the rest of this tomorrow. I am going to be getting the... Oh, the Mustang running on Tuner Studio. I totally had a brain fart right there, but I will be getting the Mustang running on Tuner Studio, which it already is, but the cold start's really bad, and I don't know if it'll, like... I have to put my gas on, or give it gas to even get started, so I'm going to see if I can get it to just idle by itself, like as it's in a cold start and if I can do that mission accomplished but um that's what we're gonna be doing I don't know if I talked about my transmission already but transmissions coming next Friday I'm so excited about it and uh, but I'm not gonna start the build till first weekend in July because I gotta get stuff ready I gotta move stuff and whatever so I will see you guys tomorrow when you stumble upon a car meet this is crazy Porsches Hellcats yeah. This is crazy. Look at this. Just stumble upon. Oh my god. And he's got the GTR and the Viper. What? That thing is sick. Alright, so it is Saturday morning and I got up and I want to talk about my McLeod um, twin disc clutch and why I'm getting rid of it. Um, I'm gonna go to a single clutch platform because I was talking to my transmission builder and he said that the twin disc is just so much weight on the transmission it breaks gears and with a billet steel flywheel and the twin disc it's just it's too much and I guess I'll show you why real quick but with a twin disc you have the twin disc you have the double discs right so you have two organic Disc. So there's the one 
and there's the other one, and then the pressure plate, and it's it's pretty heavy. It ain't no joke. It's a lot of weight, so I'm not gonna be able to use this one, and I gotta go to the single disc. And they have a custom single disc that Promotion works with, a different company with. I have the build sheet. Maybe I'll link it in like right there or something like that. But they actually have like it's um I forgot who it's by, but they made it. It works really well with the T5 because the T5 is a small transmission and I, it wasn't very strong from the factory but with these new gears that I have that are being put in it with the new case and everything it um it's way way stronger but still we want to be careful and not shatter gears <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that um, the different clutch that single disc because it's a lot he's saying it's a lot better and then I'm gonna end up going with a aluminum flywheel after I put the turbo on so for I'll be under 500 horsepower now I'll be like at 450 to the rear wheel so the billet steel he said it'd be perfect until I hit 500 and once I put the turbo on the car will be 700 so I will get like a Fadanza aluminum flywheel and we'll go from there but that should be able to save my transmission because and I trust these guys are promotion because they got cars running nine second quarters revving the, revving the T5 up to like 76 7800 rpm and I'm not doing that I'm revving to 7000 and I'll be shifting it and they're talking about pro shifting and all these things and I don't know if I'm gonna pro shift I want the transmission to last forever but he says it's totally safe with the setup I have so that's why I'm gonna go to single disc, that's why I'm getting rid of this twin disc, and um, I just made like 600 bones off this, so we're gonna go get rid of it at UPS real quick, and we're gonna head over there, go back to Harbor Freight, I need a multimeter to test these injectors that I got, I got 42 pound Ford Performance injectors, and I got them used, so I just wanna check them before I put them in the car, so that's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna mess with the Mustang later on, but let's go Get it. Okay, I just got back from well, I got back from town then I took a nap because I got tired But so we're gonna see if the Mustang will start run like do a cold start run under, run under its own power So tune studios up. Let's give this thing a go. I'm not confident. Nope won't do it. All right, so I won't do it I'm gonna change a couple settings to see if I can get this thing figured out and once I do I'll tell you what I found out. Okay, so I wasn't able to figure it out, but I think I'm in the right direction. Like, there's six different, like, start uh, settings in Mega Square or Tuner Studio, and I'm, like, going through every one and changing it and changing it, and I did it so many times that the engine finally warmed up, so it didn't work out that way, or I wasn't able to figure it out. So I am going to park it in the garage or in my new little tent garage and go get it in there and then maybe like tomorrow or something I'll try this again from a cold start and see if I can't get it to run properly I think I know what I have to do there's one called the cranking duty percent or something like that and I think it opens the idle valve big so I think that's what I got to do and I can fix it so I'm gonna put the Mustang away the and then we're gonna go out to Willow Springs Raceway and do some drag racing in the SRT <laughs> so that's what's gonna go on and um, I had it running at um, 14 AFRs and now it's back to 13. That's whack. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the garage. Uh, let's go there right now. It's in. It looks good. It actually, looks really good. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's like made for it. So it turned out good. Um, we're gonna head out to the racetrack right now. So I'm gonna get ready. This thing makes a lot of noise. I hear it when I'm sleeping too. So I'm on my way to Willow Springs right now and it's really windy. So hopefully the audio quality isn't too bad when we get there. But I'm really wondering how many people are gonna show up now that um, like COVID and everything. But it said it was open. So I mean, we're gonna go test it out. And if anybody talks trash about my SRT, I brought my helmet, I'm gonna race them. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, really windy out there I hope it doesn't mess anything up so I will see you guys at Willow Springs all right boys we're here let me show you oh well <laughs> you can't see much here, here's the sign here's the sign okay we're coming up to it the fastest road in the west Let's see if I can turn Woo. all right oh yeah it's on that's for sure holy crap a ton of cars. So it looks like we're gonna be in line for a while. There's like a massive line. I guess everybody's bored, so 
here we are. Oh, I actually know the people in front of me. That's hilarious. They're in a Falcon. So we're here. We might do some races. There's already a lot of people here. This is, this might be fun. I might give, I give someone the sauce. I mean, SRT is not going to beat a lot of people, but it can definitely surprise some people too. So should be fun. I'll show you when we get inside. Yeah. Oh, 15. Okay. Um, Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. I'm like looking at. Oh, can you can you move up a little bit? I'm not a good multitasker. <laughs> oh, there it is. There. Can you see it? That's fastest road in the West. There it is. We out here. <laughs> oh, is that a Supra? Oh, it's going on like 20 minutes staying in line. That's a long time. Here we are though, Willow Springs International Raceway. Woo! Finally here. That literally took so long. That was crazy. I don't even, I don't even know. And they raised the price. It used to be like five bucks, now it's 15. Like what? It's expensive just to go watch drag racing. I think it's like another 10 bucks to race. So whatever, I guess we're gonna find out. Is that another Supra? What? It's so loud in here. Check it out. This is crazy. Malibu's, I got cold vets, I can't hear myself, it feels like gasoline, I'm still waiting for my friends to show up, so I'm just walking around, checking out the cars. This is crazy. This is out here and we didn't want to look too stupid because my car only runs like a 12-1 and it's a thousand feet so that makes it different but 12-1 there's cars out here running like 8-5s and 9s and I just don't want to be embarrassed tonight it's, it's the season opener so I just don't want to get embarrassed like that so we're going to take a loss this time and we'll probably end the video tomorrow not quite tonight but I'm going to do some more stuff alright guys we'll see you later is that a super? All right, guys, so that's the end of today's video. Sorry for all these filler vlog videos. Um, it's just filling in the holes before I get all the stuff for the fox and. It, I'm trying to make it as interesting as I can. So Willow Springs was cool. I I should have raced. I just should have done it. I don't know why I didn't do it. I got I got intimidated. There was an RB26 240SX, the Supra. There were so many fast cars and my little neon. I man, I need at least need a big turbo or something. I just I'll go. I'll do it next time. I promise I'll do it next time. It's either gonna be the Mustang or the SRT. They have another one in the month, so I'll definitely be racing regardless. Um, next time, but it's only a thousand feet, so you, you don't get like a real quarter mile time out of it. But it's still really fun, so I will be doing that next time for sure. And um, yeah, so the Mustang build is gonna be starting super soon. I transmission is getting here Friday, so it's like just really, really close. But 
Um, I got a video on Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know exactly which day it is, that um, I'm going to be putting rims on the orange SRT, and they look really good. They're actually on already, but I got footage of that, so that'll be the next video. And then the video after that is the GeForce Trans I'm getting, and I'm just going to do like a whole like build list, what, I, what got done to it, what clutch, what everything that's going down with it and that'll be like a good video I'm excited to make that one so that's what's in store for the channel right now um, I'm going to two videos a week just because I'm back to work there's not a lot of time I'm trying to get these videos out and uh, I mean it is what it is I mean it, no one has time really but I'm that's what I'm gonna be doing in two videos a week from now on and I don't know if I'm gonna do Wednesdays and Sundays or Thursdays and Sundays but something to that extent so um, thanks for tuning in if you made it to the end of the video Thank you, I appreciate the support, and if you're new, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell, because, I, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, so it would be appreciated. So, okay guys, I'll see you next time. Well, the, the falcon in front of me is like pouring out white smoke. I'm like suffocating back here. This is great. I can't see nothing. <laughs>